What's up, everyone? It's your boy Monkey from Monkey's Treehouse here in Wisconsin at 5.14 a.m. About to hit the road to make this delivery I was out here to make, and then I can start heading back to the East Coast. Today, today I wanted to show you guys how to fuel up a semi-tractor trailer. You see one pulling in right now at the 53-foot trailer. In the sleeper cab, now it might sound simple. I mean, you want to show us how to fill it up with gas? No, 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 no. I want to show you how to fill one of these things because there are two tanks. All right, one on each side, driver's side, passenger side. Those of you that I've trained with and those of you that are training without me, you're just basically getting in, starting it up, learning how to drive. To know some of these things when you get out here it'll help you guys in your careers help you on the road so today we are at a flying J which you'll get very familiar with in the near future you get familiar with flying J's pilots TAs quick fills or quick stops whatever they're called and basically uh, there's a nozzle on each side of the vehicle that you can use to fill your tanks up uh, you want to do it is obviously you want to go to the pump first If you have what's called mobile fueling Which I strongly suggest you get if you go into business for yourself or if your company offers that they have that you just basically uh, Pull up to the pumps and instead of having to go inside Of course you want full fill-ups on both diesel tanks and DEF fluid which is diesel exhaust fluid That's something you guys are gonna get familiar with as well it has to do with the emissions on the vehicle. Basically, uh, mobile fueling is just really, really awesome. You just pull up to the pump, and the GPS automatically detects if you're at, like I say, you know, on a pilot or a flying J where I'm at right now. The GPS automatically detects where you are, and uh, once you select mobile fueling and you select the payment card you'll be paying with. In my case, I'm using uh, my company's corporate. <coughs> Uh, pilot and Flying J fueling card. It'll ask you if you want diesel, DEF, or reefer if you have a reefer trailer, which is a refrigerated trailer as well. If the station offers that, you select what you want. Um, the diesel exhaust fluid is something you guys are going to have to monitor pretty heavily yourselves while you're out here on the road because if the diesel exhaust fluid does run dry, um, the truck will still operate, but it will operate at about 5% efficiency. Basically, you'll be going like 5 miles an hour until you get to a station that will let you fill up with your diesel exhaust fluid to get it running back to proper um, specs. So you're going to be watching two gas gauges the whole time you're driving. You'll be watching your main fuel gauge, which I'll show you right here. Okay, that's your main fuel gauge right there with your diesel fluid in it. Diesel fuel, sorry. And there's your DEF, diesel exhaust fluid. Okay, right now I'm running about, at about uh, three quarters of a tank on each. I don't really need to fuel up, but like I said, I am in Wisconsin. The corporate card is for flying J's and pilots. Um, when you go on their apps, they'll show you all the locations all across the country to uh, to be able to, to you know motivate to, to, to find your way to to fuel up but if there's a break in the amount of service stations you see it's always best to top yourself off before you go back out on the road to wherever you're going your pickup or delivery or what have you so what you see on your screen right now is actually um, my phone screen uh, to show you the pilot flying J apps like I said, once the GPS detects the location that you're at, it'll automatically bring it up on the screen and gives you a couple options like start mobile fueling, reserve a shower, reserve parking, and see available offers that they have. Uh, every time you fill up at one of these places, you get uh, rewards. You get reward points for every gallon of, of diesel you get. Uh, you get a, um, a reward uh, point. So some of you start off basically at half a point per gallon, then it goes up to a point. Point and a half, two points, 2.5, 3, 3.5, and then finally four being the max. So you get up to four points per gallon the more you use it. Um, the reserve parking is an awesome option. We'll talk about that uh, a little bit later. 
Um, and like I said, uh, you could use those points you accumulate to reserve yourself a shower, and it'll pay for the shower as well. Uh, reserve yourself a parking spot, it'll pay for that with the points. And uh, you have the start mobile fueling option. So basically, once you uh, pull up to a pump that's open uh, and the GPS locates you, you would select the mobile fueling option and then it will bring up the payment screen. Now the payment screen, like I said, uh, with the company I work for, they gave me a corporate card, so I'm gonna select that for my payment, and then it'll ask you what you want, diesel, diesel exhaust fluid or reefer. I'm gonna pick diesel and def, because that's what I need. I don't have a reefer trailer, and once you confirm that information, it's gonna ask you if you want anything from inside the store. Uh, before you do that, it's gonna want your vehicle unit number, and the mileage, you can see my mileage reading is 494307. I didn't really uh, go too far since I filled up earlier today. I'm only at 494678, but I do want to show you guys how to fill up uh, the two tanks and the diesel exhaust fluid tank. So I'm going to fill myself up top off before I go to this delivery location and then uh, head back to the East Coast. So I ask you if you want anything else in the store. I say no. I've never said yes. I don't know what happens when you do say yes. Uh, maybe we'll save that for another video. But for now, like I said, we're just going to um, use the mobile fueling. I'm going to pull up to one of the pumps and uh, show you guys how to fill up these, uh, these two tanks and the diesel exhaust fluid tank. Okay. So now we're going to pull up to one of these pumps so I can show you the uh, way to fill these tanks up. Up, so I'm going to snag that real quick before anybody else pulls in here, which seems to be happening every couple of minutes. Pull up pretty far because I'm parked next to somebody before I start killing this turn. I don't want the back of my trailer to swing out. It is. So, let's get out there and fill this up. All right, so stepping out of the vehicle, always maintain your three points of contact. Going over to the pump. You're gonna enter that code that was generated by your mobile fueling app. I'm gonna put the numbers in it and enter. It registers and then tells you, okay, go ahead and begin fueling. All right, what you wanna do is take off your primary tank first, remove the cover. Okay, and then you can pop out your nozzle. Come on over to it, just like you would any other fuel tank. Put it in, all right, and then you wanna lift the activator. As you can see I pressed it, nothing happened there, so you have to actually come over and lift the activator to start the pump. And then you can just click it into place and it will start fueling on its own until it's full. This time you're gonna walk around the other side. There's a little bit of walking back and forth during this fueling process, a little bit of a pain in the ass, especially in the colder weather. No problem, we'll walk around to the other side now. As you can see where I pulled up, I was just perfect on one side, but the fuel island set up in a little bit of a uh, diagonal position. So this one is a little further away from my tank. So I really gotta stretch this hose. I'm put this down for a second, take off the other cap. Okay. 
and I wanted to make sure this reaches, so insert that, walk over, turn on my activator, and then come back and start the fueling process. Now while both tanks are fueling, usually it's a good time to clean your windshield. You're going to find a lot of bugs like to splatter themselves in your windshield as you're driving across the uh, great United States here. They do provide a lot of uh, buckets of washer fluid and Windex, whatever, and squeegees to do that with. While you're fueling up, it's always uh, usually the best time to do that, clean your windshield. And you can get a little bit of a look at the truck stop here. Like I said, this is where you're going to park if there's available parking spots for you. And you pull in. And then when your pump's click, it lets you know that the fueling stopped. You come on over to your secondary first. And you're going to make sure it's topped off. And when it is, you see it's full, go hang that back up on the holster. And you can turn off the activator at the same time when doing that. Come on over and uh, cap up your tank. Right. Always do this one first, this way you can walk around to the other side. Top off the primary, make sure that's full before you hang that up on the holster because that will end the sale, so to speak, on the, um, on the diesel. All right, so you want to be ready to activate your DEF nozzle and button when you're on this side. So. Top off your primary, hang that up on the holster. Cliff bars, not sponsoring this video. Uh, cap up your tank. There you go. And then you're going to walk over to the DEF or diesel exhaust fluid holster. It looks like this little funny contraption. Open up the flap. This hose is always a pain in the ass. You have to stretch that out of the reel. And then simply uncap your DEF tank my pocket for a second there and need two hands so you uncap your def tank and then hit the diesel exhaust fluid button to start the filling and then just uh, just like a regular gas tank stick the nozzle in fill it up and that's what you do basically after you fuel up uh, if you do need items from inside the store as a courtesy to other drivers you should always pull up out of the fuel island because there is usually somebody right behind you waiting to get fueled up as well, so you basically pull up the entire length of your vehicle. Sometimes there's a line painted on the ground, sometimes there isn't. You just check your mirrors as you're pulling out and see that you clear the island uh, completely uh, to where the back of your trailer is at least one cab length out of the island itself. So the guy behind you can pull up as far as he needs to do his fueling as well. And this gives you guys a little brief look at the truck stops talk about your parking situations as it is early in the morning most of the guys are already clearing out to head back out on the road um, but these will fill up pretty quickly again very shortly and there you have it so I hope you guys uh, found this video informative I know when I first went out on the road and I had to fill up the first time with two diesel tanks and diesel exhaust fluid uh, it was a bit of a pain in the ass trying to figure it out but um, this guy's helped you guys out there in your careers and on the road if you have any questions comments or concerns just leave a like a comment below and i will get back to you as soon as possible again this is monkey from monkey's treehouse thanks for stopping by checking out the video as always stay safe out there guys see you on the road soon take care